It's Ash from Super Videos back for another video for The Walking Dead Universe. It's time to dive into a very popular discussion within The Walking Dead fandom. One huge crossover event or story. Is it coming or is it too far-fetched? Scott Gamble's recent hint about merging the spin-offs has set the community a buzz. So buckle up as we mix the latest updates with my in-depth predictions. Could we be heading towards one of the most epic crossovers in The Walking Dead history? A crossover that has five main stages that sequentially builds towards the ultimate final event. Stay tuned, we'll be right back to break it all down. Before we start, you know the drill, smash the like button, subscribe to join our community and press the bell to get notified. First off, let's talk about Scott Gimple, the chief content officer. He teased he envisions a future where the various spin-offs from The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, to Dead City, to everything in between, to intersect in some way, shape or form, at some point. This could range from brief encounters to a full-blown cultivation of storylines. The potential here is immense. To understand the possibilities, we need to map out the timelines. Dead City is the furthest along in the Walking Dead timeline. Interestingly, the Ones Who Lives timeline either overlaps or closely follows the Daryl Dixon spin-off. This opens the door for so much possibilities and crossover scenarios. Let's get creative here. Picture the end of the Ones Who Live, Season 1 leading into season two, if there is any. The CRM threat looms large, but Rick and Michonne manage a daring escape. They may not want to return to Alexandria initially, to not put any CRM eyes there. If Silas is in this story, he could deliver the news to the crew about what he knows about CRM, based on the events of World Beyond. And Dr. Bennett and other scientists can be introduced, who can benefit Rick and Michonne in taking down the CRM. This could be our first big crossover event. Maybe in this plot where they're staying on the down low and hiding, they stumble upon Morgan, who may have found Alicia and Madison again, after the end of Fear the Walking Dead's timeline. So this would be our second crossover event. From there, they decide to head back to Alexandria and risk things, so they can plan for the war with the CRM. They're greeted with introductions to King Ezekiel and his commonwealth, mirroring how Jesus introduced them to King Ezekiel prior to All Out War in the main show. This isn't just a callback, it's a strategic narrative link. And this is our third big crossover event. Now let's address the elephant in the room. What if there is no season two? Then in that case, in the six episode event for season one of The Ones Who Live, it'll play out the same. But instead of seeing everything else in The Ones Who Live, it'll happen in a smaller scope in another spin-off. Who knows, maybe Major General Beale won't be defeated by the end of The Ones Who Live, and he'll be a villain that will return at some point in the franchise. Or, if there is a season two, maybe he'll be defeated by the end of season two. But of course, the threat of the CRM will remain. Simultaneously, Daryl and Carol, after defeating Janae's French forces, return to the Commonwealth, possibly accompanied by allies like Laurent and Isabelle, and even Herdone, a warrior who can assist them in the journey. This is where we get into the fourth crossover event. The reunion with Rick and Michonne in Daryl Dixon Season 3 would be heartwarming and tense. As they realize the CRM threat persists, their response? A carefully crafted counteroffensive aided by their new French allies. The climax of this season could see our group reaching out to Maggie for assistance. In an unexpected plot moment, Maggie reveals her secret weapon, Negan, now leading a formidable force in New York. Rick Grimes is a wanted man on the run from the CRM, potentially leading them home. Negan, having been in that position, 
knows a thing or two about what to do. Plus, he cares enough about Judith, RJ, and others at Commonwealth to agree to help an old rival. This would be now our fifth and final crossover event. Meanwhile, in the second season of Dead City, it could explore Negan's rise to power, forging an empire while maintaining a complex alliance with Maggie. Envision season three of Dead City, where we witness an unprecedented alliance. Morgan, Madison, Alicia, Rick, Daryl, Maggie, Michonne, and Negan come together with a singular goal to take down CRM. Negan, with his newfound authority, provides critical support with his New York army. This could essentially be the new version of March to War. Season 4 of Dead City could be the ultimate culmination, a full-scale war, or all-out war 2, if you will, with CRM, set against the backdrop of Philadelphia, home to CRM's main base. And of course, we're still in line with the title of the series and its themes, with the Dead City Philadelphia landscape. The stakes couldn't be higher, as our heroes fight, not just for survival, but for the future of humanity in their world. Now, let's not forget, although we're saying this is a full-blown all-out war with a dozen A-lister characters involved, it doesn't mean it will be an Avengers-style event where all will be in the battlefield at once, fighting the CRM. We're likely to see them all involved in some way in various battles that are being fought against them. Battles where we'll see different characters working together and fighting alongside each other, some of whom have had some scenes together, some of whom have not. This war will have multiple front lines and many battles that eventually lead to the victory of the survivors over the CRM. So, just to summarize, if everything plays out this way, assuming we're gonna get two seasons in total from two spin-offs each year, this is how it's probably gonna map out. In 2024, season one of The Ones Who Live will be released, showing how Rick and Michonne escape from the CRM. Season 2 of the Daryl Dixon Book of Carol will also come out where we'll see them defeat Janae and her army. In 2025, Dead City will have its Season 2, which shows us Negan's rise to power and the origins of the New York Empire. The Ones Who Live will release its second and final season, featuring Rick and Michonne's return to Commonwealth. In 2026, Daryl Dixon will have its third and final season, showing Daryl and Carol's return to the Commonwealth and their reunion with Rick and Michonne. Season 3 of Dead City will be released with a storyline that continues smoothly from Daryl Dixon and involves a plan of action against CRM and Daryl, Carol, Rick, and Michonne learning about Negan's empire from Maggie. In 2027, Dead City might have an extended season 4, either with 12 or 16 episodes, or it could also continue with its regular format of two separate 6 episode seasons, spaced a few months apart. Now I know some fans might worry about the complexity and character overload in such a massive crossover, but rest assured, these predictions aim to honor the unique stories and developments of each character. While envisioning these exciting crossovers, it's important to note that we probably won't see all the characters together at once. Expect to see a few here and there in each episode, with major gatherings reserved only for key crossover episodes. This approach allows for more meaningful and focused interactions, ensuring that each character gets their moment to shine without overwhelming the storyline or the audience. Remember, these are just speculative scenarios. The actual execution by the creators would undoubtedly balance the intricate plot lines and character arcs to deliver a satisfying and coherent narrative. 
Let's trust in the storytelling magic of The Walking Dead universe and see how it unfolds. So this video was really a deep dive into what ifs and maybes in The Walking Dead universe. But what are your thoughts on these predictions? How would you like to see these series merge? Share your ideas in the comments and hey, if you're loving this speculation, hit that like button and subscribe for more content. And press that bell to get notified about future uploads. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video. 